I need to go grocery shopping, but I don't really want to go alone. So I thought you could just like tag it in the ride. Today is actually Tuesday, the day before this is going up, and I impulsively decided that I'm just gonna vlog me going grocery shopping for the week because realistically, I don't go on the same day every week, and the amount of stuff that I buy really does vary, so I was like, a better way to kick off Wednesday's video than having an impulsive, unplanned, unstructured shopping vlog, grocery haul, and reorganizing my kitchen. I need to go grocery shopping because I feel like I have little to no food left. I'm starting to question what I want for breakfast, which means my fixation meal of bagels, eggs, and strawberries is wearing off finally, and I need to figure out what I want to eat for the week so I know what I'm going to buy. I've decided for once that I'm actually going to show you like how I make my grocery list. Um, and I always like split it up because I feel like grocery shopping is just one of those things like people kind of are aware of how to do, but there's different and better ways to make it a lot easier. So I usually just go about my kitchen and see what I need and split it up based on the store. So if y'all didn't know, I go to Trader Joe's for mostly produce, dairy, fish, meat, stuff like that because it tend to last longer. It tends to last longer in the quality is a lot better in my opinion than Target and then Target is for my name brand type of coffee stuff and whatnot so we're gonna go ahead start you know making our grocery list and yeah this should be fun it's gonna be a whole event but when is it not <laughs> I really love my eyebrows today. I love my makeup today. It's just so simple. It's natural. Now it's time to head to my favorite produce, dairy, meat store in the world, Trader Joe's. <laughs> I think it's like a North Carolina thing, but I've never seen anybody like park their car and get out like as soon as they park. Like you have to sit here for a couple minutes and marinate. So I'm sitting here and marinating and my parking spot I didn't have to fight for. Damn groceries. Starting with Target, I never have bottled water in my house, so I decided to get two cases of six pack smart waters because any other water makes me have to poop. So, I don't know what you want to do with that information, but it's what happened. So, in my next bag, I decided instead of getting cran mango because the Target I usually go to does not have any, I got two cases of this Izzy sparkling juice. It's Clementine flavored. If you've ever been to Chipotle, and got it Izzy. It's like those glass bottles, but these are in cans and they're so good. I think switching it up from the cram drinks was also a good idea just because I forget I have so many likes and dislikes and food and drink. I forgot I actually like these, so I decided to grab two of them, but these were kind of expensive. So cram mango was there to save money, but you know what? We have to venture out somehow. Next two things I got is a part of my coffee essentials, and that is the stock cold brew, not too sweet black. It's just cold brew, but it's the best cold brew I've ever had in my life. So with this, I got the go-to Starbucks caramel macchiato creamer because y'all been watching my videos or TikToks for a couple weeks now. You already know how I'm coming. That's the go-to, that's the girl. That's who wakes me up every morning and that's why I think about when I go to sleep at night because I know I'm about to get some in the morning. It's an addiction and I'm aware about working on it. So I got two things, I got two pints of it because I can use this in pasta. Don't really use it for anything else but there's other options I just can't think of right now. Just a thing of all-purpose flour. I'm not gonna take this out because it's gonna make a mess because whoever designed flour bags and how it's sold in stores can honestly go to hell burn their 
for eternity because this is so dumb. Quaker granola bars, nothing too special. Three things of baking soda because I love to use baking soda when I clean. And then I got a thing of cream cheese. I didn't have any of the small ones. The Target I go to is really just hit or miss. You either get lucky and find everything you need. I usually can never find like one thing. And I'm gonna tell you what that one thing was this week when we're done. But they didn't have any like tiny versions of these. So I'm gonna have to eat bagels every day. Then I got a thing of whipped cream for my coffee. And because Cashew likes at home puppuccinos, what dog doesn't? I know I'm gonna get a lot of mixed reviews on the next item that I got. But I got a pack of hot dogs because look, I had the idea that I was gonna make beanie weenies or chili. I really wanted to make chili but they didn't have baked beans. How does Target run out of Bush's baked beans? Bush's vegetarian baked beans at that. Um, Chips Ahoy, just to snack on at the house. Got some broccoli, bag of whole green beans. Personally, feel like the whole green beans taste better, but also look better. So last Target bag, I only used one reusable bag at Target, which isn't like me because I have like seven of these, but I don't know where they went. But uh, I got a new loaf of bread because my current one is about to um, expire. If you have any like tips on how to keep bread fresh, I know you can put it like in the fridge but if there's anything else like let me know because i would love to have some options um i also got some plain bagels for breakfast and snacking of course brownie brittle another snack for the house thing of olive oil because i forgot to get it the first like week i was living here so i've got an extra light tasting olive oil buns these are just the ballpark hot dog buns nothing special at all i spent 82 dollars 86 before tax but after tax and what they charged me was 84.77 82 dollars for all that food i think that's the cheapest i would have got for my area because if i went to Publix, it probably would have been hitting almost 100 and harris teeter definitely probably would have been over 100 and those are really my only options over here so Target, thank you so much. You're gonna see my stack of food over there. Oh, she's big. Moving on to Trader Joe's. This is where I usually get my dairy, my produce and whatnot because I just feel like, I feel like Targets in general just don't have the best produce. So I go to Trader Joe's. So first thing I got, 12 count white eggs. The reason I like separated the eggs was because she had my eggs with like my vegetables, fruit and whatnot. And the way I be slinging these bags around. <laughs> I just didn't trust myself, so I moved it to a separate bag for itself. But anyway, next thing I got was, of course, just a little thing of strawberries. Next thing I got was just a thing of lemons because I think the lemons I got last time went bad really quickly. Got a bag of apples because they were tiny and cute. Green apples are superior. Got some bananas. They're green. This is the first time I've seen green bananas at my Trader Joe's, so I had to get them. I had to get them. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at Trader Joe's for never having green bananas when I go there, which is usually when I like to buy them. Y'all know I love cucumbers. Cucumbers, Italian dressing. Chef's kiss, amazing snack, amazing side. Trader Joe's organic free range chicken. This is, this is 0.91 pounds. So this is a $6.82 set of chicken breast strips. These are chicken breast strips. Fresh Atlantic salmon. There's no bones in it. It's a filet. And this was $7.99 and this is only 0.8 pounds. So I didn't go for a budget over quantity when it came to salmon because I got so much fresh stuff, but I'll explain that in a second. So the Laughing Cow Spreadable Cheese Wedge set of eight. I didn't know they had these there and Target never has those by my house. And that's like a really nice snack that I like to have in the house with just some crackers. And then I just got another half gallon of milk because y'all know if I'm gonna do anything, I'm gonna put milk in my oatmeal. Cause who do I look like not putting milk in my oatmeal? Y'all know I love me some Trader Joe's frozen meals. So I decided to get a box of Mandarin style orange chicken bowl just because I get lazy during the week. And as a college student, sometimes a minute and 30 seconds is all it's gonna take to make my stomach happy. Next thing I got was a chicken burrito bowl. I don't know if who's gonna get it first, me. My boyfriend is gonna be a fight to the death because the smack. Finally, I got a frozen mac and cheese. At Trader Joe's, I spent $55.44. Y'all are probably thinking, Aaliyah, why are you spending so much money on groceries? You usually never spend this money on like groceries. I've just come to terms with the fact I don't like grocery shopping every week. So I bought enough food to last me two weeks. Hence the reason I got salmon and chicken. Usually since it's just me here cooking for myself, I can really make one dinner a week and just have leftovers for like four days. Cause like, I don't really care. Like, I'm okay with that. So I got enough stuff to last two weeks. So if you split this total in half, that's about what I spend for the most part. I know Trader Joe's, I don't think I've ever spent $60 at Trader Joe's, but that's because I usually get half the amount of stuff from Trader Joe's. Spent about $30 on a week at Trader Joe's. And plus I decided to, um, since I knew I was getting so much, I decided to do price over quantity for my meats this week. Uh, just see what it was like, just see how I can get off a bit. Yeah, that's the reason I was so expensive this week.
like the vibes you like the feel i love sitting on my floor and filming videos my kitchen bag is so nice as we're coming to the end of this video i feel like in order for y'all to like gain something besides just like entertainment aesthetics through my editing and whatnot i want to give y'all some solid personal grocery shopping tips that i like to really use as an adult to help me save money how i actually grocery shop when it comes to meal prepping and whatnot even though i feel like a lot of people like it's kind of a given you never know who this could be helping and my, i feel like my personal tips and tricks just being an adult kind of getting into the swing of like my routine and actually getting into grocery shopping that's actually beneficial to me in my pockets i would love to help somebody out there so i have like five or six grocery shopping tips tricks that i just want to share with y'all so my first tip which is like pretty much a given but i will always say this when it comes to grocery shopping only ever buy things that you are absolutely going to eat within the time frame in which it expires or you're gonna go back grocery shopping and i say that interchange interchangeably because not everything expires at the same time perishables perish differently than other perishables and if you don't really know like what you personally eat make a list of foods that without a doubt that you would like to have in your form your home your apartment whatever you have that no matter what you need to have so like for example i need milk i need cold brew i need creamer i need eggs i need cheese just stuff like that that no matter what you know you're gonna eat just make a list have that ready to go whenever you're going to the store so this goes out to all my people who hate grocery shopping which is like insane to me because i love it but if you hate grocery shopping and you find it to be the worst adulting chore you've ever done find a way to romanticize the hell out of it get cute reusable bags go ahead and make those little tiktok vlogs and do haul take pictures take videos take pictures at the damn grocery store i feel like whenever you don't like something and then you try to romanticize it in some sort of way it makes it a lot better than what it actually is which is what i actually started doing with grocery shopping and that's why i love it so much because now i find it as like my downtime i'm like yeah i'm being an adult mm -hmm. i'm near the greens i'm near the fruits i'm near the meals like it's it's just a fun event for me now that i've just started over romanticizing it and if you have trouble liking it this is something i definitely recommend you doing in order to enjoy a little bit more so this is something that i feel like a lot of people including adults sometimes forget but definitely do not buy all snacky foods get some stuff that you can actually cook and reuse as leftovers and i say this one because a lot of people underestimate how expensive snacky foods are let's say you're gonna go get a box of gushers some pringles and let's say chips ahoy that in itself is probably eight to ten dollars based on your state tax and where you live but minimum that's probably gonna be about seven to ten dollars temporary thing that is eventually gonna go away very quickly you don't really gain anything from it unless you're in between meals instead of getting something like that you can make it's very quick it fills you up you get some ground beef noodles make spaghetti and that can last you for five days depending on how much meat and noodles that you actually buy and in the end when you weigh out how long those things actually last you you're actually saving a lot more money with buying the spaghetti ingredient versus just a lot of snack you can even get stuff like frozen sausage frozen shrimp salmon i don't see foods like more on the expensive side so a lot of people really don't get that stores actually i feel like make frozen meat and seafood cheaper because people are like oh it's not fresh i don't want it but it's actually the same thing this comes frozen and in a bag and it lasts longer get the frozen food babe <laughs> get the frozen food <laughs> so my second to last tip is create a weekly budget for grocery shopping and eating out something i have learned is that creating a budget for yourself so that you can eat out what you want while also maintaining a grocery list and eating at home it's totally feasible y'all know i used to go periods of doing nothing but eating out this that and the third but what i didn't tell you is that i wasn't buying groceries for that week so me spending 110 dollars on eating out spending no money on groceries at the end of the day it's still 110 dollars that i spent on eating out which would have been 110 dollars on groceries but i just wanted something more efficient at the time example of this is if i spend 60 dollars on groceries and i have a hundred dollar food limit i'm giving myself 40 dollars to eat out because i'm still meeting my under budget or budget for food that week let's stop separating eating out and grocery budgets let's go ahead and start putting them together because ever since i started doing that it's definitely something more peaceful for me and something that i have just realized has helped me a lot when it comes to money management because i used to feel so bad when i used to eat all the time but it's like you literally didn't get groceries why are you tweaking out like you need to eat you didn't want to go grocery shopping cool eat wings off for lunch for three days straight that's totally fine but this also kind of has to deal with micromanaging how much you're actually spending which you should always do make sure checking your statements <laughs> frequently if you're gonna be you know spending money like that because food adds up especially when you're eating it very frequently so just be mindful of that because realistically not every single person is going to have the energy to cook clean and plan every single meal every week of their entire life and if a budget just like isn't for you have some days where you just don't spend money on food or only get food when you see your friends my last tip that my mom actually put me on to if you guys haven't heard 
favorite. This isn't sponsored, by the way. Let me say that. If you guys haven't heard of an app called Fetch Rewards, you basically scan your receipt. They give you points for scanning your receipts. But with Fetch Rewards, if you scan certain items on your receipt, you get bonus points and whatnot. Da -da -da -da. Something I've actually learned from my mom was racking up on points. And actually, for the rewards part, you can get like gift cards to certain stores. I personally like to use my points for store gift cards. About 20,000 points in Fetch Rewards, that's a $25 gift card at Target. And because I know I grocery shop at Target most of the time, I will get that $25 gift card and apply it so I can get $25 worth of free groceries. I said this wasn't sponsored because it's not, but the way that I'm like ranting and raving about like how much this helps me save money on groceries is so funny. So Fetch Rewards marketing team, if you're watching this, there's this emails down below and you can talk to my managers. We shall collab this year. And knowing that when you buy certain stuff, you get bonus points, I actually make sure that like I look at the stuff that has like bonus points and whatnot so I can see if I need. I'm not gonna go out of my way to get it, but it's very convenient if I do so you can get a lot more points. But yeah, I basically get free groceries <laughs> a lot of the time because I get so many points on Fetch Rewards. So that's another way I personally like to just save money when it comes to groceries. So Fetch Rewards, run me my sponsorship. Fetch Rewards, get your rewards and get the those gift cards to where you grocery shop if it's available and apply it instead of like going out to eat and getting books like I had originally planned. Redistribute that money into your groceries. So guys, that's actually it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This was really fun. I feel like I want to do a lot more like grocery shopping things. I wasn't originally going to do a grocery shopping moving vlog, but I feel like with my new area, I kind of have to adjust to how I grocery shop and how I just micromanage my spending with money, my different ways that I like to like save my money when it comes to grocery shopping. So hope you learned a little bit something about that. If you guys like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys on Sunday with a new one. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I love you all the most, and I will see you very soon. Bye, everybody.